Hi, welcome to Matters of the Word. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. Paul speaks to the Colossian church, saying, The mystery which has been hidden from ages and generations. What is this mystery that's been hidden for so long? Well, first, before he says what it is, he says who it has been revealed to specifically. He says, God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles? That's you. That's me. He says, this is the mystery. Christ in you. Christ in you. The hope of glory. You see, when Christ enters into our lives, it changes everything. We now have hope. The hope of glory. A heavenly hope. We look forward to our future inheritance and we no longer have a short-sighted view of life but now we have the long view of eternity and it changes everything a number of years ago willis graff a 90 year old man gave me an old luma craft canoe and it had some battle wounds on it and some scarred up sides but it was decent enough, so I took it. And it sat under my in-law's deck for seven years. Eventually, I felt bad enough having that big hunk of metal underneath their deck that I, I brought it to my house and I hung it on my fence. And I would stare at it out my window in my office. And uh, I just wondered, am I ever going to use this thing? I tried to sell it. I couldn't even sell it. But a few Years ago, my father-in-law, he began taking me out on some fishing trips. And we would go out with a group on and hire a professional fishing guide and we'd catch some, some salmon. And if you've ever done that, it, it's, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. So it got me to thinking, you know, I haven't been fishing in a long time. Maybe I should fix this boat up and, and, and take it out. I'd like to teach Asher how to fish. So... I built a mount for the, a motor so I could troll around with that motor. And, and I remember taking Krista out on the maiden voyage. And we had quite a bit of fun, actually, with that motorized canoe. And so it was time to take Asher out. And we, we began to catch some fish. And you know what? There's nothing like a boy catching a fish with his dad. It's so much fun. And I, we all four of us would fit on that canoe. And we just began to have a lot of fun on, on day trips out on rivers around our house, the Yam Hill and the Willamette, and uh, just, just catching some bass. We kind of settled in on bass fishing. So the more we went out, the more we kind of added to things. I decided, oh, I'm going to turn this old 4x8 trailer into a canoe trailer. So we did that and added some seating that was a little bit more comfortable. And we were in business, and we just had a blast. There's Krista with her stick fishing pole, sticking a line. And, uh, and there she is upgrading to a princess pole with Sadie there. And we just began to make some memories with this thing. And what used to be just sort of an eyesore in my backyard or, or underneath my in-law's deck uh, be became a focal point. You see, our perspective had changed. And... We something that that nobody wanted. I couldn't even I couldn't even sell it for for um, an, an underpriced um, a sale. It, it just nobody saw value in it. But something in me changed, and then we began to take our friends out, and we just kept catching bass. And um, I learned that uh, y your circumstances don't always have to change. Your perspective sometimes needs to change. What's right in front of you can be such a blessing and so that story just kind of illustrates and reminds me about how you can go from something that doesn't have value to something that has great value just by that internal change that happens in your heart so as Paul says the mystery of Christ in you the hope of glory may that change your perspective today God bless you I'm into the light.